host, Foster Spicinger. I'm Brandon Wallace. And I'm Nicholas Lovell. And we are the Computer Game and Simulation Team from Lynn County Area and Career and Technical Center in Brookfield, Missouri. Going into this project, we had hoped that it would be educational and benefit new members of this organization. Also, prior before going into this event, we had no knowledge or programming ability whatsoever. But we knew we wanted to create a game that was similar to our favorite and well-known game, Mario. So that's when we came up with Ben. The way we created Ben was using Game Maker. Game Maker provided us with all the necessary tools to create Ben. In Game Maker, we designed the backgrounds, the sounds, objects, the sprites, and the scripts. We also used clubcreate.com to create the theme song. In the game, you play as Ben, the main character, as you try to help him find his briefcase that a rival company has stolen. You have 120 seconds to get through the round and answer a question about FBLA. And uh, we put obstacles and enemies in to make it fun and challenging. Now we're going to explain the script. The first script we have here is the title script. The title script displays play, tutorial, story, high score, and exit. Next, we have input and output. As you can see here, A, W, S, and D keys provide movement for our character. Next, we have game, er, I'm sorry, question scripting. Whenever you touch a door, the script question starts a FBLA question. If you were to get, answer that question right, you move on to the next level. If you were to answer that question wrong, it would restart the level and deduct a point. But if you have no, no points left, it would uh, stop the game. The E key allows the player to collect lives on the chest. The lives give the player additional opportunities to advance to the rounds and get the briefcase back. On level 5, the player has the opportunity to collect the pencil gun. The pencil gun allows the player to destroy its enemy by shooting at it. The pencil gun is the only thing that can destroy an enemy and help the player advance to the rounds. Now we're going to show you our game. At the start of the game, we have the title screen. The title screen displays a set of options given to the player. Next, we have the story button. The story button displays the basic background behind our game, Ben. It also displays how Ben lost his briefcase. Next, we have the high score button. The high score displays the top 10 players and their top 10 scores. And also, after you finish the game, it will add all your points in and put you on the score. Next, we have the tutorial button. Like any other computer game, it is helpful to have a brief description of how to play the game while also being able to play the game itself. In the tutorial, we have five rounds. These rounds explain how the player display the game and what the objects do in the game. And we can play for the rest of it. Lastly, we have the play button. The play button puts you directly into level one. As you can see here, the main objective is to get through the round without either falling or getting hit, touched by an enemy. You have 120 seconds to get through. At the end of each round, there will be a door that will ask you a question. If you were to get that right, you would go on to the next level. If you were to get that wrong, you would restart and life would be taken away. There are 30 levels within our game bin, each level having a question and answer. And our last level is our boss level, which the boss has the briefcase, which you must get back. We'd like to thank you for your time and attention you've given us, and we hope you've enjoyed our game, Ben. How did you come up with the name? I actually have a friend named Ben, so, you know. 
Um, you described input. Is there any output? Yes, the output is the movement the player gives and the E key, which allows you to collect objects out of the chest, which are lives, and then the space bar, which fires a pencil. That's the output. You said you used the program online, is it clubcreate.com? That was to create the theme song. The theme song, oh, okay. What did you use to actually create the game? Game Maker. Game Maker. Did you look at any other game making programs? Yes, we looked at uh, Unity, and we also looked at some scripting languages. But Game Maker, we decided it was the easiest and fun way to create a game.